Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog, and back with another very special beer from Firestone Walker. Finally, getting to their latest anniversary blend, and this is Firestone Walker 15, their 15th anniversary ale. This is a very, very, very big, big beer. It's 12.5%. Uh, At least I believe it's 12.5%. Yeah, 12.5% by volume. It is a blend of 18% Eldorado, which is a single hot uh, beer using Eldorado hops, and they age it in bourbon and brandy barrels. They do Sticky Monkey, English Barley Wine, aged in bourbon and brandy barrels. They do Bravo, which is a Imperial Brown Ale, aged in bourbon and brandy barrels, which I've heard is awesome. They do a Double Double Barrel Ale, uh, which is their doubled up DBA, 100% uh, aged in the old Firestone Walker Union barrels. They do Good Foot, which is aged American Barley Wine, aged in bourbon barrels. Velvet Merkin, which is their oatmeal stout aged in bourbon barrels. Parabola, Russian Carol Stout, one of my favorite beers aged in bourbon barrels. And finally, Double Jack, which is their Imperial IPA. So, Helderado was 18%, Sticky Monkey 17%, Bravo 17%, Double Barrel, Double Double Barrel Ales 13%, Goodfoot's 11%, Velvet Merkin's 10%, Parabola's 9%, and Double Jack's 5%. So, there's actually about over 20% of this beer is actually relatively hoppy light beer, which is a, definitely a departure from the rest of the series, which tend to be either focused in on imperial stouts or barley wines have usually been like a majority of the base beer in this one. I believe 13, like what, uh, which I do have a bottle of still, was based on Bravo, which I've heard is fantastic. And last year's was sort of more parabola based. So it pours um, not completely black. Um, there's actually a lot of ruby red tinges all around the side of the glass. It's really more of a dark brown. Got about a finger of head, which is um, oh, very, very, very light brown. So uh, let's get the nose on it. First thing I notice is different from the past ones. There's, there, you get some hops on here. There's some fruity hops. You know, sort of like. Um, it's sort of like uh, stone fruits, kind of lighter fruits, maybe even almost tropical fruits. That's the first thing I noticed. I've had this on draft a couple times, and uh, this bottle is definitely hoppier on the nose. Underneath that, you got a lot of big sugary, uh, like brown sugar notes. Um, you're picking up some of just little little hints of like roasted malt, little hints of chocolate malt. Big like toffee caramel notes that kind of cover up a lot of that. It's a very balanced beer. Um, maybe some other yeast esters. A little bit of barrel character. You know, some sweetness from brandy barrels can be really sweet on the nose. Have almost like a cherry note in there. Uh, bourbon barrels, you know, it's producing some of that vanilla and coconut notes on the nose. So uh, let's give this a taste. Cheers. Yeah, that's just different from past beers. Big warming alcohol on the back end. I'm actually a little surprised that there's that much uh, warmth and alcohol on the back end of this beer. Considering a lot of these beers have been aged a while. Um, I've heard that's kind of one of the bigger complaints for a lot of people. This one tends to be a bit boozy or fresh, and I have to agree. Up front, I get a little touch of hops. That sweetness comes through. You know, almost... Um, Maybe like a pineapple, sort of, you know, cantaloupe, like lighter fruit characters. Maybe even a little like red apple in there. That tends to open up to absolutely just huge caramel notes. Just big like sweet toffee, very sweet toffee. The beer really rounds out in the back end. The alcohol kind of helps balance things out. A little bit of a roasted character on the back end too. Um, Overall, it's on the sweeter side. There's a lot of uh, lingering notes. Doesn't finish, you know, very dry. The back end of this beer, I, I really, really like, because you really get a ton of vanilla and toasted coconut notes coming from those barrels. Man, it, it's just, it's a characteristic that Firestone Walker is one of the few breweries, in my opinion, that can actually get that that toasty kind of like almost a nuttiness, you know, I, and that comes from the barrels and being the barrels so long they are able to pull that kind of flavor out of them and a lot, all their beers seem to have them 
the anniversary blends, Parabola, Abacus, all seem to have that really nice character. Problem like a, a blend like this, it's very, very complex. Every sip you're getting something a little new. Like the more I drink it, the more I get almost like a cherry, like red berry character in there that kind of goes mid palate, whereas that kind of comes forward while the caramel kind of takes a back seat. And then you start getting more like this brown sugariness in this sort of molasses character that can kind of dominate as well. It's just a really, really hard beer to review. You can sit here, just sip, get a bottle of this, sip on a long time. Make sure you let it warm up to proper drinking temperature. I mean, start it at, at, the, at the coldest at 55 degrees and then let it warm up. It's going to sit there and get a lot of flavors. Um, this one's just very, very slightly cool to the touch. As far as grade on this one, I'm going to go with an A-. minus. I think um, out of all the anniversary beers that I've had recently, this one um, is the less ready to drink right away because there, there is that alcohol in the back end. But, which I, but I also think because there's the hoppier beers in there that it's going to change maybe more in the future. Because you, you do have those lighter beers in there and the hop character. So as always, Firestone Walker does an uh, amazing job with these beers. This one's just not quite where they were with their couple pass. So E- minus for the 15th. I do recommend picking up at least two bottles and let this thing age. Actually, three bottles I think would be great. Drink it fresh, age it for six months, and then try another one in a year from now from when you get it. So uh, until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.